It's after school, getting ready for dinner, hanging out with the family, and getting in some homework. This is the life of a high school student. Okay, and chapter 15 questions? That... Yeah, almost done. But for Isabella Calasanz, it's a bit different. She's an international student from Brazil in Victoria for six months. Like many others, she's staying with a host family. Yeah, I can, I can tell that I don't miss home. Yeah, I miss my mom. She's my best friend. Calazans is like over 100,000 international students studying in British Columbia, whether it's elementary, secondary or post-secondary. She chose Canada for the climate, the beauty and the safety. In Brazil, it's hard to take a bus and go out alone because it's kind of dangerous. So coming here and studying, I could learn English better and I could start taking bus and walking alone. Um, in some cultures, like our Latin American culture, um, there are many parents who want their children to have the opportunity to have an integrated English experience. Dave Scott helps run the International Student Program here. He says those are some of the same reasons for many students from Europe who come for shorter periods of time. Asia, which is the largest market, brings students that continue their education well beyond high school. An Asian student will look to come uh, primarily to do a high school graduation in at least two years and then feed into the post-secondary system and do a diploma or a uh, uh, degree granting program. And then many will head back to their respective countries to pick up work that, uh, that they wanted to do and why they were here to study. There are upwards of a thousand international students studying in the Greater Victoria School District at all eight high schools in the region and the students come from all over the place, Latin America, Asia, Europe and while the students get some cultural benefits and of course learn English, we also reap some of the economic benefits. Certainly the local businesses see an increase in, in, in clientele because students need to purchase clothing, they like to go out and have dinner and, and have uh, eat time with their friends and they also like to shop. So there is a benefit uh, from it financially. This past September, Premier Christy Clark announced the government wants to increase the number of international students at post-secondary institutions in the province by 50% in the next four years which would generate 9,000 jobs and boost the economy by $500 million. While the plan is tailored for universities and colleges, programs for secondary schools hope to benefit. Even if they're pushing and selling and, and promoting post-secondary institutions, there are brothers and sisters and there are family members that are connected and they will start asking the questions, well, what about high school? Uh, what about doing ESL? What about doing summer camps? What about, you know, so they will look to not just the post-secondary, so there will be a side benefit. Yeah. While the International Students Program isn't looking to expand just yet, Scott says they are trying to maintain the numbers that they have right now, given the number of spaces available in the school system. If those spaces do open up in the future, well, we can see more international students, not just from the countries that we see them from right now, but also emerging markets. In Sanich, I'm Shetha Singh for The Daily.